and welcome. Um, this is Media Sussex and I'm Stephen. Um, I just wanted to offer a tutorial on how to use the WordPress content management system. It's um, become one of our biggest products. Um, obviously we didn't make it, it's open source, um, but we can provide it to customers and, and build a theme around it. Um, and so we just really wanted to offer a tutorial to explain to the users, to you, our valued clients, um, how to use it. So here we go. Let's. Um, what we've got here is the Media Sussex website. This is built on a content management system. Um, it's in fact built on WordPress. So it really works as the perfect example to show you guys how to use it. Um, first thing to remember is how to sign in. To the website. Sometimes there'll be a link here to sign in, but generally speaking, it's better not to, um, just for security reasons, um, and just generally, it's good practice not to. So if you just remember this, if you type in your website address and then do um, slash, there we go. It's already there. In fact, uh, wp admin. Like that. Um, what that'll do is bring up the login page there. So in actual fact, our username is there, and obviously we've got our password there too. So we're just going to click login, and what that does is that opens up our um, dashboard, as WordPress calls it, which is essentially the behind-the-scenes um, part of the website. If you have um, an older, or potentially by the time you've watched this video, uh, a newer version of WordPress, the dashboard might look marginally different. Um, I have this one open as well, um, just to show you. This is probably like a, a few versions ago. Um, I mean, as you can see, it works exactly the same way, just slightly different, basically. Um, so, basically, this tutorial will, will work no matter which one you've got. Um, feel free to comment, and if you want to learn more, we will try and respond. But basically, here we um, have the option to view our site. Um, what I'm going to do is open that in a new tab. That way I can refer back to the changes we make, um, how it looks on the website, and then back to the dashboard to make those changes. So I think that's generally good practice to have going on on your website. Um, the two main areas in which you will be looking to edit within your website are here posts and pages. Um, depending on how your website's set up um, and the purpose of the website, you'll have the different options and the different things that you will be able to do and want to do. Let me explain. So for Media Sussex here, we have our media blog. Um, our media blog is different to what would be generally considered pages because the blog contains all the posts that we add. So if you imagine anyone who has a, a news feed or a blog themselves, what they'll generally do is, you know, write a post every time they're, you know, uh, got something to talk about. In the same way we have every time we've got something media related we want to discuss we just add a post and, uh, and that appears in here so that's one element of the website posts every time we add a new post over here posts add new every time we do that that'll appear in here under this list and wherever your website is if you have posts they'll appear under there it'll either be called sort of news or blog it could actually be called anything um, but we would have advised you had we have built that site where exactly that would be. I'm going to teach you now how to add posts and the best way to do that. But some websites obviously won't have this um, this capacity, this need. So feel free to skip ahead to our pages editing um, section of the WordPress tutorials, um, and we will discuss pages. So this is just like an overview, um, so you can see the different areas in WordPress that you can edit. Um, from here, um, if you just want to click the posts tutorial, I will show you how to edit posts. If you want to click and learn more about how to edit pages, um, again, pretty similar uh, to the way in which posts work, um, but we have a dedicated tutorial just to editing pages too. So just click the one that you want to learn more about. And um, yeah, see you there. Give us a like on YouTube and uh, Thanks very much.